Alright guys, welcome back and thank you so much for joining us for another X the Theme aka X Theme aka X demo for your WordPress sites where it's all about building out the X theme on your site and learning as much as we can as we go through. Today might be the last demo, this is part 9, um, but of course if you see a part 10 then we kept going a little bit more. Um, either way we're getting to the end and today we're going to start with an update because in my inbox I saw that there was an X theme update on November 30th and then one on December 1st. Obviously updating your X theme is going to be important for your website or maybe your clients websites. WordPress updates faster than ever now and uh, this is going to be crucial to stay up to date with X in terms of security updates and just making things look as they should and work normally. If you click the links in this email, it'll take you to Envato or it'll take you to the ThemeCo page and this download link will actually just take you to your downloads. Um, so that's not very helpful, uh, but when we click X, we realize that we are on 4.2.2 now. I'm realizing I might outdate myself just by saying that and displaying this, but that's where we're at right now as I'm filming this. and on our two websites where we're using Xtheme. This one where we've built out the whole site and on this other website I use uh, we're a little behind. If we go to appearance themes we're only on version 4.1.1 which we can see right here in our appearance themes viewer. Alright so we need to update on this site which we've been building for the past nine demos this one right here that we're all hopefully familiar with by now we have um, validated our product so if we go to X add-ons product validation we already have this uh, validation key and on this site that we didn't validate X on we just wanted to build and play around on we get these three steps when we go to X add-ons home and uh, that's because we didn't we haven't done the process yet it's a little bit late to do this but I'm gonna walk you through um, how to register your product now alright so I had to do a little running around to figure out how to re-register for access because for some reason X wants me to validate again but it's a good chance for us to uh, register and validate a website together basically what you want to do is click register for access first and then you're going to enter your username, which you may have already created, or if not, make one right now, like your WordPress username is fine. And then your purchase code from the text file you got in the download, your item purchase code, which will look like this right here. That goes in here, and if you don't have that file, you can get it from your downloads page. Just re-download X and make sure you get... Um, all files and documentation. All right, and once you do that, you're going to get the dashboard, which will look a little bit like this right here. You're going to have hopefully a gravatar, and then what you want to do next is generate your API. All right, your product API key under the licenses section. And what will happen is that product API key combined with the domain name will tell the X uh, theme co center and the support center that you're registered. You're going to pair a domain name with an API key. And we can see I've already done that. Um, my API keys are here and I have this long confusing API key paired with a URL or a domain name. All right. And as you add more websites using X, you're going to need to generate new API keys for them and buy more licenses. All right. So the amount of long crazy number letter combinations that we have to remember is really too much in my opinion but all you need to know is that every URL needs a unique API key and once you get your API key you copy it and then paste it back in your WordPress and that's going to be on the product validation page for step three All right. once you copy your API key you can come back and in your um, step three you'll just click product validation and then paste and submit 
hope this works because it's been a lot of running around and it did. All right, so now let's go look around and do a little shopping to see everything that we can do with our validated X theme. We're gonna get updates and extensions and if we go to extensions, then we can see that now these are all available, which is awesome. Back in plugins now, it should look a little different. Um, well, looks like we have to click that link. And let's go back to plugins now. I really just want to update Cornerstone. Is it going to let us? Maybe if we go to extensions, Cornerstone, manage plugin. Still wants us to validate. And then finally, after just hard updating by hitting the checkbox for Cornerstone and update apply, we finally get our update link. Update Cornerstone successfully. Great. We're in business with our validated copy of X. Now, if we check out appearance themes, you should see Active X and this new link to update now. So you can either view version 4.2.2 details or you can update now. And of course this will be whatever the current version is at the time that you're updating your website. So you can click update now. And everything went fine. All right, and now we can just return to the themes page and double check that we have 4.2.2 great and double check that our website didn't break um, which it sort of did oh I tell ya alright well this has been fun now our logo looks ridiculous and uh, we've lost some of the font for our nav menu looks like everything else is roughly the same after that uh, timely update. So let's go to customize and let's get that logo back in check. Now um, our custom CSS stayed the same thankfully. We did not lose any of this and that was a lot of work. I'm just so stunned why the logo looks so funny. Alright now magically you can see that changing logo letter spacing will actually bring our text logo from completely reversed and off the page back to normal. Uh, go figure. But potentially our cache was clogged and potentially we're just uh, going crazy. In any case, um, logo letter spacing is what you should go to if you get that funny uh, problem where your text logo reverses the order. Logo letter spacing in header customization. If you want to keep these update emails, then go ahead, but you'll be notified um, with your new updates coming forward by ThemeCo if you have notifications turned on, and if your product is validated, you'll get those updates right away for free. Alright guys, so we all are actually done with our X-Theme demo. Thanks a lot for building this website with me. Hope you had fun, and we learned how to make everything we see here, like this video light box and the parallax section, the counters, and the pricing tables, and more. I'm going to set up a site called WP Theme Guides now, where you can actually um, read all of the guides in one place, and then search for exactly what each guide covers, like how to make parallax, or how to make this or that, you know. And I'm going to include some other guides there for things like Vantage and Virtue and more in the future, so check that out. I hope I actually build it and don't just let it sit because I just bought the domain from GoDaddy. Please make sure to use all the links in the comments, guys. Um, that means the affiliate link, which gives me a little credit for the theme. Um, Themeco is a really great company, and I signed up as an affiliate with them. So I'm really hoping you can use that link and give me a little credit for making these. If not, maybe just share the video or comment or rate it or something. I always love hearing from you. Uh, thanks so much again, and I hope to review more themes and give you more content in the future. WordPress just released their 2016 theme, and they just released their um, new uh, Clifford version of WordPress. So you're going to have more 
on that from me soon, and I hope you like it. Thanks again, guys. Uh, have a really good day, and uh, make sure to check out 2016 and the content I'll have coming up featuring that. All right, see you guys. Thanks again.